been standing right here, eyes peer with my mind clear. Never look rear, only up, never down. Off the ground till I'm found. Hear the sound, listen to me now. As the beat pounds, every ounce of my effort pouring out. So you never have a doubt. Do you like me now? Am I good enough now? Should I get more loud? To get here to fucking sound? Oh no, I'm losing my shit again. Having to fit again. Man, I'm forgetting when I used to have some friends. I used to play pretend. We all grow up and then hating my phone and trends. I'm about to blow my head. Nobody knows I'm dead. Fear I'm a ghost instead. Think that I'm close. I get straight on my toes and bit. Try to go slow with breath. Fit out my nose and head. Heart doesn't go the trend. Faster it goes instead. One shot, that's all you got. Take it right now before you get lost, yeah. One shot, that's all you got. Write your own story, you control the plot, yeah. One shot, that's all you got. Could drop dead now of a fucking blood clot, yeah. One shot, give it all you got and never back down. No, I'm never gonna stop, yeah. Second coat. The airflow meter of spray as well, I think. One on there. Just a quick one. Get rid of that crappy looking silicon look. G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Lockdown Performance. Yeah, as you just seen, I'm freaking doing some spray painting around the front of the house. I didn't I just didn't want to get overspray all over my cars. Airflow meter and this pipe that I've made up for the uh, for the intake. I didn't really check that one for boost leaks, but um, I think that should be okay. We'll see anyway. It's a pretty crappy airflow meter, so if it doesn't work too well, I'll just get another one. So be it. Big old bus battery. Gives this thing plenty of cranking power. Whew, that's a heavy battery, eh? Bloody heavy. It's not leaking out of that hose anymore. It's still leaking out of some breather hoses somewhere. But, uh, yeah. six pound there if I hold that breather hose it uh, it's still leaking through somewhere I'll find it but I'll find the bastard yeah all that's sorted just waiting for the uh, Sikaflex to dry a little bit on those hoses there as I said it's only temporary but yeah fits all right looks pretty wild See if it kicks over. Time to build up a bit of oil pressure. Lights, freaking. A little bit of conduit around this uh, coolant line, return line for the freaking overflow. I've got the battery clamp here as well, and um, and then T 
tape that up with a little bit of fiberglass insulation. And I guess after that, we'll be right to go. Give her a bit of a tighten. Don't want the old battery falling out, do we? Ooh, I might have to try this with the other hand. This, oh. Yes, yes, that's it. Beautiful. Getting there, getting there. Ooh, good old VH45. Take that up just for now. Bit of fiberglass wrap, which was pretty awkward. Tried using these steel cable ties, but they're not great. So, but yeah, I'll just redo it. I've got heaps of it anyway. Um, battery on. Let's see if it starts up. Fuel pressure. just water leaking from where I've been uh, bleeding it. It's been running for about 5-10 minutes. Fans on. It's a bit under half, probably uh, bit, keeping a bit cooler as well because the uh, bonnet's not on it at the moment, so. Yeah, so it's been a pretty busy day today. I um, managed to get the Q45 running, finally, um, without like the aid of a uh, fan or anything like that because the car's got its own fan now um, uh, had it running for about 30 minutes freaking no knocks crackles sounds or whatever a bit of a sound actually I lie a bit of a sound coming from the power steering pump um, but that's about it really everything else is good I've got to top up the transmission fluid um, and I'll show you guys tomorrow morning because it's, it's a bit warm now that it actually spools up all right when it's under load. I didn't really take any notice of RPM or boost, but I'll, I'll give it a little bit in second gear with the handbrake about three quarters of the way on. And uh, yeah, it sounded all right. It sounded really good, so. Pretty much that's where it is at today. Um, when I give it a bit, when I was loading it up, I noticed a bit of smoke whether it was from the exhaust or from these breather ho ho hoses. I'm not sure, but anyway. Um, air fuel ratio, gauge, O2 sensor, whatever you want to call it, it's all hooked up. I just unplugged it for now because I closed the window. But yeah, it's a pretty good one. It was reading a bit lean, actually, I don't know if you guys noticed in the last video, but um, or in the in in the previous part of this video, it was running a little bit lean. So, um, but it then started correcting itself when I turned the video off. This has this actually hasn't been used for a little while either. So, um, yeah, I guess as long as it's not going to run too lean, I'm not going to give it a great deal. These thing these brakes were getting quite hot, as you can see. There's a bit of water here. I had to cool them down after I did the uh, second gear pull. Yeah, too hot to do anything else today. Um, tomorrow morning, probably about seven o'clock, when it's nice and cool, I'll set up the tripod 
and uh, just give it a couple of quick runs once I've topped up the tranny fluid transmission fluid and yeah and I will um, fix up those couple of little washes that I've got to fix up on the on the rear of the car rear suspension three bolts in the tail shaft I might muck around with the height on the back we'll see we'll see and then once I do that I'm, I'm dropping it off the stands off the ramps um, and I'll drive it towards the end of the driveway just see how much of a drama that's going to be worst case scenario I don't want to do it I'm gonna have to put the stock suspension back in but really all I want to do is just go up there up that road a little bit and then just just around there and back I mean there's no bonnet on the car so I don't really want to attract too much attention um, no, no no rego either so what I, what I might do just to be safe is I'll just get a permit anyway so even if they pull me up I say well look I freaking got a permit at least I got a permit the car's not legal the car's too loud freaking not mod plated whatever ah uh, well anyway catch you in the morning guys okay guys it's the next day um, got to get a few things done on this before I uh, put some boost into it but um, yeah it looks pretty good today for working on the car anyway it's pretty cloudy and pretty cool so I'm gonna get stuck into it and then uh, we'll make some turbo noises batteries hooked up boost gauge AFR gauge um, I tightened the bolts on the tail shaft which was lucky because there was only actually three in there so there was no bolts in the tail shaft when I was loading it up yesterday it's got some sort of safety catch on it lucky lucky enough anyway I'll open the door up and then I'm just gonna let it oh, put it back in the park that's it fuel pressure bang let's do it Oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because I haven't taken the freaking cover off the top front of the turbo. Do it. Hopefully, I haven't stuffed anything doing that. I. <laughs> anyway, we'll try again. Everything's sorted, all the cables are connected. Yeah. Start her up and bloody. Yeah, that's good. Saw a bit of a sound there, I think. I've sprayed those bullies. It could be one of them bullies that are actually making noise. It does sound like that one down there. But anyway. So it's been running for about maybe five minutes, it's warm. I'm gonna put a bit of boost into it, maybe a pound or two, 
see what it sounds like. Ah, chuck that there like that, I reckon. A bit lean as it's coming on the boost, but sounds all right. Anyway guys, that's a wrap up of this video. Um, I've got the uh, beast under here at the moment, just cooling off with the fan. I think because of the uh, piping sy system that I've got set up on it at the moment, it's not really good for the EGP, you know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I guess what I'll do is I will keep going with it and I'll muck around a little bit more and hopefully in the next episode 
I'll set up my camera in the car on the uh, headrest and we'll go for just a little drive around the corner. Sounds alright, it's pretty loud though. Um, it sort of spools up when you stage it as well. Like I've, like I've sort of first gear on the spot, just two grand and then took off and then you could hear it sort of whistling and that's, uh, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a complete lag monster. Um, but yeah, it is laggy. It's a big bloody exhaust housing. I don't know what size it is, but it's freaking massive. Anyway, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. See you later.